Right, the scope is set to 0.1 volts per centimetre. The sweep rate is 50 microseconds. We turn on, this will start at 50 kilohertz. That was set in the programming. I don't need a frequency below that, so there was no point in going there. This increments the frequency in approximately 1 kilohertz steps. This side decrements it. The amount it increments or decrements each time is dependent upon the crystal you're using with the PIC and I've got a 33 megahertz in here so that gives me about one and a quarter kilohertz so we'll increase the frequency, the frequency will show here and this will gradually get uh, higher and up to 60, 62 70 well, there is a peak now it's gone down again, we're down to 90 so we step back now, Step. just do it singly this time, 87, 86, 85, that's 85, sorry, 84, 81, 80, so it's hard to tell, so we step up on the scope and we have to go again, right, 79.21, it's gone down, 80, it's gone up, 80.81, so it's about 80 kilohertz, and that is the frequency of your secondary. Right, we'll tune the primary now. The primary is set about 8 turns, which is what I normally run at. The secondary was about 80 kilohertz, so I normally allow for streamer loading and drop it down to about 70 odd. So we switch on. Again starts at 50, increment the frequency, now that's gone off down the scope a bit, 65.5765 so gone off again, looks like the peak is there we are, there was the peak, increase it and it goes off. It runs up as far as 100, 111 point something. Now go down. You can clearly see the peak. Back down to 61. Now let's measure that peak. I went down a bit there, now we want to see if it increases, it does, and again, now it's gone down, so the peak is there, 74.77, which aligned for streamer loading on the secondary, which is 80, is just about right. 